where along in our processes and work are we really adding the value that our beneficiaries appreciate most? It is all about process management and everything we do is a process. So therefore, if you understand the process, the notion as we saw in Lean, understand the process, figure out what steps make up that process, figure out which steps add value and which steps don't and therefore get rid of the steps that don't add value and in that sense be more efficient. So focus question, a detail uh, set of affinity cards, now you're saying here's the stakeholders that relate to those issues. So you're starting to build out who do I need to be talking to as I'm doing scenario planning. And what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about the issues that are the issue clusters. All models have purposes, and the purpose of this is really to understand how, given a continuing need to distribute, how inventory is going to behave. To handle these shipments, and you can always load up in these cities and take another load, but what would it cost for you to do this business? And then what bid should you send to the shipper in terms of dollars per kilometer in order to break even? Now, we have total supply, 360, is equal to total demand, 360. So we know that the balance of flow in this system should be the inflow minus the outflow is equal to supply or demand. The critical path method imposes a constraint that everything has to be in some kind of sequence, either parallel or in series, but still in a sequence. You're not allowed to have cycles. This method explicitly gives you the ability to model cycles and iterations, which are often part and parcel of projects. And then finally the chain, yes, I love it, supply chain. A supply chain has got a couple of links. There is your links in your supply chain. And by the way, the strength of your supply chain is the strength of the weakest link. That's the strength of a chain.